Sugars. What are the really important ones to remember? I don't suggest you remember idos and oh goodness knows what. I'm suggesting you learn three structures and you're in great shape. Structure number one, deglyceraldehyde. This is a really important structure to know and it's simple. Three carbons, an aldehyde, but it has to be that configuration. That's the D configuration. This is the molecule that Fisher used to identify other sugars in the series. You see, this is a Fisher projection of deglyceraldehyde. DOH is on the right. Fisher projections look like this. They're backbend conformations. So anytime we see a sugar drawn as a Fisher projection, if the last chiral center in the chain away from the aldehyde is with the OH on the right. The OH is on the right. That's a D sugar. This is D glucose. It doesn't matter if you show the hydrogens or not. Just show the OH and look for the last chiral center in the chain. If the OH is on the right, that's a D sugar. Monosaccharide number two, D ribose. This is beta D ribose because the anomeric OH at C1 is pointing on the same side as the CH2OH. We'll say more about that too. This is important because this is the sugar part that's repeated over and over again in RNA. RNA is connected by phosphates on the three prime position, but you see these sugars repeating over and over again and only the bases vary. So another way to draw a D ribose is as a Fisher projection. And DOH is pointing on D right. It's a D sugar. Monosaccharide to learn number three, glucose, D glucose. And this is the way I suggest you draw it. Just as for D ribose, I suggest you draw it in the same way in that five membered ring form every single time you think of D ribose. And that way, it's easier to learn when it's in one shape. For D-glucose, draw a six-membered ring. And in the chair form, all the OHs around the circumference of the molecule are in equatorial positions. And so is the CH2OH, the hydroxymethylene. The OH at C1, the anomeric position, can be either down or up. But all the other substituents are equatorial. And this is a Fisher projection of D glucose. You see that last chiral center? DOH is on the right. Thank you for listening. I hope this helps with your studies. Bye bye.